morning everybody welcome back to my channel today we are doing a little sunday in the life i decided to vlog today it's sunday may 12th when i'm filming this it's also mother's day so happy belated mother's day to all my moms <laughs> I haven't vlogged in the past few days, so I don't know. I woke up this morning and I was like, this feels like a good day to vlog. I'm getting ready right now to go into the city for a little Mother's Day brunch. My mom's coming, obviously. And then the rest of the day is just going to be like a typical Sunday. It's a rainy day. Honestly, I'm upset. I wanted the sun to be shining today, but that's just not the case. I fully just had a sneeze attack and had to go take allergy medicine because I just realized that I forgot to do that today. <laughs> that was like a five minute long sneeze attack. Anyway. I was planning on taking the path into the city today, but I would need to leave in like 15 minutes if I were doing that. So I think I'm just gonna call myself an Uber, treat myself for being a cat mom, okay? <laughs> that's what we're doing today. This weekend was really, really fun. I was gonna vlog it and then I decided to just not. I just wanted to live and not be filming everything, but I did vlog for TikTok, so I actually was filming everything. So if you want to see what I did Friday and Saturday, you can go over to my TikTok. I've been trying to post way more on TikTok. I feel like I just like never put the time into making TikToks and I've been doing that this past like week and I've honestly been having fun with it. So definitely follow me on there if you don't. But yeah, last night I went out with Rachel. She left earlier this morning, but it was so much fun. We got La Pecora and we went to this rooftop bar in the city and we had a good time so that was really really fun and that is pretty much it i sound so nasally right now and i'm like so fully aware of that and it's because i just actually sneezed i think 35 times in a row that was actually unreal i'm gonna go get ready i will come back when i'm done okay i just finished getting ready i'm running late i love how i thought i would be able to make the path that was super wishful thinking on my end but here is the final look i feel like i need to show you out here i need to hurry up and call my uber I'm wearing this cute little fit. Top and sweater are from White Fox. Jeans are from Air. The ones I've been wearing in everything, literally. Sneakers, P448, bag, furla. <laughs> Perfume, Baccarat, and it's making me sneeze. Okay, I need to leave right now. We made it. The bag broke for the gift, so that's really unfortunate. Here's my mother. Happy Mommy's Day. Happy, happy Mommy's Day. <laughs> si, si amo. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, it should literally... You're, you're getting really close. <laughs> that is what you would say. <laughs> How are you feeling? Do you feel like a mother? Are you feeling are motherly you? today? If it's not a day, I'm not feeling motherly. I love that animals, for you. To my human animals, you know. That's rude. <laughs> I uh, uh, have friend, Becca, had them, and I swiped them for him. Like, I love it when your shoes. I want them. Oh, she told you? I told you. Six o'clock now. We were at the restaurant for like three hours and then I took the path home. So it ended up taking like an hour to get home, but it was very nice and it got so nice out today. Like it completely turned around. It was raining and gross this morning and now it's so sunny and so nice out. I am exhausted right now. <laughs> I went out last night and I like woke up feeling completely fine and I don't even feel hungover right now. I just feel like tired. Like I feel like I didn't get that good of sleep last night. But brunch was actually amazing we went to this place called Tsiyamo I think that's how you say it it's in the Hudson Yards it was so cute so good like the food was actually unreal we got a bunch of different appetizers to share and then I got what did I get I forget what I got but it was good I showed you guys it was amazing I tried some of my mom's which was also amazing like 10 out of freaking 10 I love that place and I need to go back I literally was sitting there and I was like I think I need to have my birthday here this year <laughs> like that's how good it was I am exhausted I think I'm gonna extend this vlog to also vlog tomorrow just because i am so beat today i don't know what just happened i'm exhausted and i also realized i forgot to stop at cvs on my walk home from the path because i need to pick up my birth control so i might go back out and go for another long walk and go pick that up so today's kind of boring i'm just walking and not doing anything so i figured we can just vlog tomorrow too and hang out tomorrow too look at frankie she wants to say hi hey girl <laughs> but i thought that'd be fun and tomorrow it's gonna be really nice out two so we can just make this a whole next couple day extravaganza maybe i'll even vlog on tuesday in this vlog and get kind of crazy 
because on Tuesday, me and my mom have plans to go into the city. We're going to see a Broadway play. So maybe I should just vlog the next three days. I think that we should do that. I think it'd be super fun for us. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I like actually feel delusional right now. I was like slap happy before, like so giggly, goofy. And now I'm like, I kind of just want to lay down and rot for the rest of the day. But like, it's so nice out now. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Last night, I ended up walking to get my birth control. And then I came home and I was just exhausted. So I just relaxed and went to bed. Now we're up. I slept in a little bit this morning. We're taking it easy. It's 1023 on the dot right now. I just put on the super cute aloe workout set so that I actually go to the gym. <laughs> and that's all for now. I need... You know what I need? This is what I need. Ooh, I'll try the Paris Hilton X Alani New, new flavor. I feel like I typically drink this after I already ate, but I don't know. I feel like I need a sip right now. Ooh, that's really good. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, I just ate. I want to do a little bit of skincare before the gym. The weather today is actually killing my vibe it's so cloudy and apparently cold outside so that's not fun it's literally halfway through may it should not be this way it's supposed to be raining all week i'm just not happy about it me and my friend andrea we're gonna have a cute little picnic today i don't think that that's in the cards for today anymore i'm also almost out of this so that's really upsetting yeah so it's just a gloomy day but we we push the zero we're gonna go get a good workout in and then I possibly am gonna go to my parents house tonight for dinner my mom just texted me asking if I wanted to come the only issue with that is I have chicken kebabs in my fridge that I wanted to make tonight because they're gonna go bad after today so I wanted to do that but I also would rather not cook and go eat and spend time with my family so I'm kind of torn right now this drunk elephant moisturizer i have been obsessed with it's the lala retro whipped cream i love the whipped consistency it's just so nice and feels very good i'm just gonna do that because i don't want to look super horrible at the gym but also i don't want to like waste a bunch of products but i'm just gonna sweat and be gross anyway these laneige lip glowy balms too are amazing that is all i sweat so much at the gym i don't know how people like wear makeup to the gym i always see people online doing that i'm like i mean i guess maybe they're not doing cardio because if i'm not doing any cardio i don't sweat that much but i do sweat like a lot when i go to the gym i feel like i would just break out if i wore any sorts of makeup i hate the way i look in a ponytail but there we go i think i'm gonna wear this sweatshirt from a white fox so we can sweat out all of the mcdonald's that i ate on saturday night when i was drunk perfect I love this hoodie, or it's not even a hoodie, this half zip, quarter zip, whatever you want to call it. I just got home from the gym, I'm eating a Caesar salad that I added hot sauce to because I add hot sauce to literally everything that I eat. It is an addiction. So good. I decided that I am gonna go to my parents' house for dinner tonight. So after I'm done with my salad, I'm gonna marinate the chicken kebabs that I have in the fridge so that they don't go bad and cook them. I'm gonna let them marinate while I take a shower and then we'll cook those. I'm gonna do my nails after I shower, get ready a little bit, and then we'll head over to my parents' house. My mom's making, I forget what she's making, but it sounded good, like grilled chicken, lemon something. It sounded yummy and the Ranger game's on. I'm not like the biggest fan of literally any sport, but my family are the biggest Rangers fans like ever. So we'll watch the game and just hang out and it's gonna be fun. Any time with my family is always fun. So that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna marinate it with teriyaki sauce. I think I'm gonna just put some of this in the bowl. <laughs> I feel criminal doing this in my anthropology nice bowl, but I don't have any other thing big enough. So here we are. We're starting with a little bit just to get it started. Okay. Ew. <laughs> get more on there. I feel like I like it very marinated, so we're just gonna soak it up. I'm gonna add pepper. I've never done this a day in my life. I've never marinated 
raw chicken before. I don't like the look of raw chicken, but I felt like this was a little bit easier because it's already cut up for me. So we're trying. And so if I'm doing this weirdly, like ignore me because I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna do a pinch or two of salt. Let's call my mom. I need advice. Hey. Look who's calling. Hold on. Hold on. Hi, Munchkin Hi. Baby. Hello. Hi, I'm going to come meet you today. You have a sister. A sister. It's me. Okay, I'm marinating this chicken. Look at you. Yeah. Is this like, I added like pepper, a little salt. Like, is that good? Yeah, but I mean, you want more it to be like soaked in the... Yeah. So I mean, I sh when you well, when you cook it, you could just add it all to the pot. Well, I I like flipped it. Oh, that's fine. And I poured it like over top of it. Oh, I just used all my teriyaki sauce. Look at that. Come here, little baby chicken. But like, this should be good. Hello, Amanda. It'll be delicious, Amanda. Okay, freshly showered. Did my skincare. I'm feeling on top of the world right now, and it is time to cook my kebabs. Oh my god, my fridge smells so good from having these marinate. Hopefully, they really soaked it up because I did only like kind of marinate one side. I did flip them, but I just didn't have enough sauce or a bowl that like made it so that they can marinate nicely. I don't know. Whatever. It's gonna be good. They look great. I feel like these would be amazing on a grill, but obviously I do not have a backyard, therefore no grill. But whatever, we're just gonna cook it in a pan and hope for the best. I'm gonna do a little bit of pan. I have been like hyper fixated on chicken kebabs lately. Like I keep ordering them. I just think they're so good. So when I saw these at the grocery store, I was like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This is also so probably not even entertaining because I did nothing but put them in teriyaki sauce. But you know what, guys? I'm just a girl trying to cook, okay? And I know this isn't really qualified as cooking but it is to me because I literally do nothing like I don't cook at all I order out way too much and this is me trying to make these changes in my life and we have to start small we have to start somewhere I can't I can't start at Nara Smith like that is just not the reality for me personally so no making fun okay no making fun of me <laughs> got my kebabs on there and they're gonna be so scrumptious they came out gorge now i'm gonna let them cool down a little bit and then i'm gonna pop those in the fridge i'm very pleased and happy with myself i tasted a little bit i also like cut through a bunch of them to make sure they were cooked throughout because i was scared of that i also made them a little burnt but that's how i like my chicken i like it to be very crispy and burnt so slay okay i only got to take off the nails that i currently have on i didn't have time to do them i had to leave because dinner is gonna be ready at six it's five take me about an hour to get there so you I needed to leave I'm actually so freaking hungry I'm so excited to just get there and eat and meet this kitten I don't know if I told you guys but my family got another cat and my mom's probably gonna kill me for putting this in because she I don't know she just everyone in her life makes fun of her for how much of a cat lady she's become and how many cats she has but who cares they're the cutest thing ever and animals are the best so they got another kitten if you guys don't remember i think i did talk about it in a couple of videos january of this year was a rough month for my family my childhood dog callie passed away on january 1st and then like the next week literally or even it might have been that same week their newest cat mac passed away he was a baby like literally like i think five months old and he was a stray my mom found well actually my aunt found him on the street like by himself and my mom took him and he had a ton of underlying health issues that we didn't know about and the vet didn't catch when we had first brought him like to get all his checkups and stuff so he declined so quick and his body literally just like couldn't handle it and he passed away like so quickly after he started declining it was horrible so those two were just it was it was horrible after mac i just knew that my parents were gonna end up getting another cat eventually especially because we lost like two animals at once i feel like you know one more 
can't hurt. And they went and they found this baby kit and he's a calico, which is the same type of cat that Boo is. And they don't look that similar, but I definitely see similarities from the pictures. I'm just so excited to meet this kitten. Her name is Zoe and it's spelled Zo, Zo, hello? Oh my God, hello. What just happened there? I don't know. It's spelled Z-O-E with like two little dots over the E. I don't know if they decided to get fancy with it, but she's so freaking cute. I can't wait to squish her. And obviously I'll introduce you guys. Don't even worry about that. So excited. Oh my precious little baby. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, she's so cute. This is okay. Zoe's. Hi, hi. I have a daughter. You want to hold her? That's Zoe. Zo? Oh wait, you call her Zo or Zoe? Zoe. Zoe. But then I call her Zo, small baby. Mm -hmm. Zo. I call her Petunia and I call her Zo. <clears throat> She's Zoe Kravitz. I'm Amanda. Nice to meet you, babe. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nick said she looks like some Zoe, so she's a Zoe. <clears throat> so nice to meet you. Have a kiss. Look at that little face. You're precious. She has cute coloring. <gasps> I love you. Thank you. Is that I love you too or I hate you? breakfast me and my coffee today i decided to sign up for a workout class well actually i signed up for it like two days ago at my gym and it was like an ab core power type workout and it was really good i enjoyed it i tried to go to this same class last week and i slept in too late and didn't wake up to my alarm so i'm proud of myself that i woke up today and got there i feel so good and then i did some cardio afterwards and it was just a great start to my day now i'm about to hop in the shower and then i have a bunch of things i need to film i have a brand deal and then i want to make like two other tiktoks we have a broadway play tonight i'm going to see M J the musical with my mom and it's gonna be super fun so that's the plan it has been a fat minute since i picked up my camera i got ready did my nails and now i'm about to film a little brand deal for salt and stone which i am so excited about because i love this stuff so much i've been using it testing it out and now I'm making a tiktok for them you guys i love it it's like the only natural deodorant i think i talked about this in my last vlog i need to stop because they are not paying me to say this they're paying me to say what i'm about to say right here so i'm gonna shush but go show love on the TikTok. Now I'm gonna be here in 15 minutes. This is the little outfit I came up with. Very casual, but cute. I have on this top from Revolve. I wear this to Britney's birthday and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm wearing it again. Then just some comfy jeans. Then these white fox heels and this little bag that I have no idea where it's from, TBH, but it's cute. And yeah, that's the look. Smile, guys, we're on a date. We're on a date. <laughs> Broadway show that I was invited to. I was gonna say, wait, this is more than no, so. which is very full circle because this is our thing. Since I'm little, we always come yeah. together. Yeah, and this, this is my second one I took you to. to. Beauty and the Beast? Maybe, I don't even remember it, but we're almost there. I'm really excited. Apparently, this is very good.